don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. Oh, get a room. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everyone. I'm Sedica. And I'm Trina. Welcome to our channel. We are now off to see Gladys. Yes. So we've, we're leaving Edgewater where we were, you know, slammed to the ground in a broken spaceship. Um, after being in, you know, uh, Fryogen for the quite a while. 80 years? 80 years. Um, so we had to get a new spaceship and in order to do that we had to, you know, change a bunch of people's lives. And then we got sunshine. We got sunshine. Talk yeah, to us, sunshine. So this is my Heidi spot now. Aww. I was looking for a place that was quiet. I figured sorry, the kitchen would be louder than the hole. you, sunshine, so right? Here I am. Cozy like, ain't it? Yes. Is something wrong? Are you okay? I think she's just figuring things out. <laughs> it's time for you to move along. <laughs> <laughs> also, break time is over. That's in pretty right? good shape considering how hard Mr. Hawthorne ran it. It's a Yakita LHA-120, A2 model, I'm pretty sure. Sure. The mm -hmm. Block 2 design scooshed in extra cargo space, but didn't change the stock engines. Probably a touch underpowered, huh? Yep, yeah, totally. Accurate in all particulars. I conclude you are Edgewater's board-certified mechanic. Not the first one. No. Uh, yeah? Yeah. Fly-by wire's pretty normal. Or leastways, that's what I read in the trades. I've never been on a real ship before. Well, now you Hello. are. I am not a board-certified mechanic, but my dad was. He taught me all he knew. Do you understand? If you could just talk normal, Sunshine. Okay. Recognition is one of the many skills I have been programmed to simulate. Oh, Ada. <laughs> You're not simulating it. You're doing it. I asked a question and you answered it. I am gratified you consider this facsimile convincing. <laughs> it is convincing. It's right? I, I, she's already real to me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. Uh, one. Yeah. I don't see any holes really in the hole. Nice. Yeah. I'll take a good squint at her, make sure everything's tip top. But I think we're cooking with plasma torches. Yeah, I, I can like do that, that expression. You know? Yeah. My dad taught me how to make grilled cheese sandwiches with a plasma torch. I really <laughs> want a grilled cheese sandwich made from a plasma torch. Right? Uh, I already knew that, but it's only nice. Yeah. Mostly, yeah. <laughs> right. I lived in the maintenance office near all my life. Mr. Thompson never let me forget how funny that was. Sounds super funny. Yeah, I don't see the humor. Right? I yeah. Mean, he meant funny as in odd. Oh. It's not normal for anyone to do as their parents. You take a vocational test. That decides your schooling and your career. Hmm. When I tested out for maintenance, everyone figured it was on account of my dad. They were real unhappy with us. Why? Cad, that's two, because that answers that question. Yes. Well, because they were hoping their own kid would get the job and get sent back to Edgewater. Uh -huh. When folk go away for schooling, they don't get back to where they begun. Not usually. You go straight to your first job, wherever the company's got an opening. Mm, gotcha. Mm. Two? Or yep. one? Two. Well, I reckon you could say, I mean, if you no have thanks, saying I don't want a job. Yeah. But then you don't got a job. Mm -hmm. So that is Yeah. Two? Sure. Well, they're powerful good tests. They rattled off this whole list of names who'd worked on them, with fancy bits hanging off them. Doctors and Esquires and the thirds. Yeah, but still. Even if you don't believe they actually catch what everybody's best at, everybody's got to take them. So at least it's fair-ish. Is it? I don't believe that. Yeah. Well, I'm good at making things work the way they ought. Not so much at doing such to somebody else's schedule. Yeah, There's schedules times I'm working deep suck. in the guts of a loader, getting it all running perfect. Then I look up to see it's tomorrow, and I've blown another deadline. Anyhow, I, I was happy to get back home. I didn't care much for schooling. Yeah, why didn't she like them? Yeah. There were a whole lot of reading, not nearly enough doing. 
Mm. Like, before they'd issue you a wrench, they wanted an essay on the design of different wrenches. Then there'd be quizzes on company regulations for storage and maintenance of wrenches. Mm. That does sound awful. It does. Yes, it's good to know her. Yes. As soon as I got permission, I spent all my time in the machine shop. They had all manner of parts, but they Aww, didn't you're such a nerd. Super nerd, right? I love her. I even slept in there. Had a hammock tied you're up in the rafters. You're such a nerd. <laughs> Before I left, Aww, I installed a little skylight your little for nerd heart. So I could see the stars. Aw, you romantic nerd. I want to hear the first one, too. I want to hear all of them. I hope this doesn't take us away from any of them. Can't say I had many. Mostly I kept to myself. Going to the community center to hear music, be in a crowd with people knocking into you. It all just made me want to run away. I mean, that's fair. When my roommates tried to talk, I'd get so nervous I'd be drenched in sweat. Well, it sounds like you have intense it social anxiety. When I stayed off Sunshine! Baby! I doubt any of them remember me now. We remember you. Mm -hmm. We'll never forget you. Yep, nothing much had changed. Everything was a little grayer, a little dirtier. Dad met me at the shuttle and gave me a big old hug. Aww. I noticed straight away that he was moving slower Aww. and stiffer. No. He made a little grunt when I squeezed. No. About a year. I tried to do more of the work so he could rest. His heart gave him pains. Dad never said that he loved me, you know? I, I knew on account of him showing it. How he'd stay up late to help with my projects or listen to my fretting. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Look at the time. Sorry to bend your ear no, so long. No, keep bending it. Oh, and yeah. I got so much to do before this ship's in decent shape. Okay. Hmm, then let's find out what kind of stuff she need. All right? Maybe we can talk to her later again. I would just spend hours upon hours talking to her. Yes. But we gotta get to wherever the hell we Gladys. have to get to. Gladys, the groundbreaker. Away. Hey, Captain, hey. Can we talk? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Yes. yes. Hey, Captain. I heard that groundbreakers got a real good engineer, a lady named June Lay Tennyson. Uh huh. I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. Anything for mm -hmm. you. I don't yes. got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Yes. Mm hmm. Let's do it now. Anything to make her happy. Yes. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Yes. Did you want to talk about something else? I mean, you wanted to talk to me, so. Oh my gosh. Give us some more options. Right? Here we go. There's so many more questions for you. Yes, tell me everything. I want to know everything. No vicar. <laughs> Eventually, I will get him. I will get them all. <laughs> did, did, you, did you look up if there is another way to get him? Oh, yeah. We got to do his, uh, his quest first. Mmm. Alright, so there's the lady right. there. Can we talk to her? Just checking your ship's manifest. Standard procedure. Welcome to Groundbreaker, by the by. By the by, thank you! Mm -hmm. Hey, Captain. I'm in space. I never thought I'd be able to say that. <laughs> oh, you You're enjoy so this. so cute! You enjoy this, Ravati. That's not the point. He he lives. Lives. Hey. No offense, but I don't think this walking salt tuna can is going to appreciate you interrupting. Huh? Keep talking, Millstone. See what happens. Oh, sorry. Now's not a good time. I'm dealing with a problem here. Well, I'm good with problems. So, go space yourself. Problem solved. Oh my goodness. You must really want to truncheon through your teeth. Do what you want. I'm done here. Whatever I you got have, it. It's all true. I don't know. From what I've seen, you're kind of the point, jerk right? here, right? Guy never liked me. Always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. You are doing another thing. He's a things spacer's chosen now, man, right? though. 
So when the Chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. Okay. <laughs> That's when I broadsided him with a tossball stick. <coughs> yeah. My goodness. Look, I this was a long time coming. How dare you. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Hey, we need a crew. Yeah. Enjoy my freedom. Scrounge together enough bits for a zero G. Other than that, can't say as I do. Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? Um, yep. Technically. <laughs> Captain of the Unreliable. You're like something out of a serial drama. Mm -hmm. True. Totally. Hey, I don't want to talk your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. Hey, uh... Felix Millstone. Pleased to make your acquaintance. We do generally like around, Felixes. Boss. We so, do. Uh, yeah. Do you have freckles? Come here. <laughs> Come here. Do you have freckles? I need to see. Where are we going? We're going this way. Mm-hmm. Customs. Wanted. Captain Gunner McReed. <sighs> For several counts of public intoxication. Oh, hey, it's yes. Space Grandpa. Space Grandpa. Sedition, forgery, conspiracy, conspiracy to commit conspiracy, <laughs> unlicensed medical practice, destruction of board property. I wonder what that fella did to get the board so wild at him. Nothing. We, I mean, we wouldn't know. Mm-hmm. Yep, we have no idea who Space right Grandpa way. is. No, not at all. Hi. Identification, please. Yes. Um, here you go. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Yes. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. Oh, no. I'm used to it. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Why? The ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. What did what? Well, we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Exactly. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. I, I don't like that probably. You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on All ground. All right. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. <laughs> Can't miss it. Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. <laughs> I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. Mm. If I had to take mm. a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. We did nothing except land a ship on a dude's head. Yeah, and you know, totally changed the way of life of you everyone headed for water. <laughs> I know we did you do won't that. Hear any yeah. Complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? I guess. Depends. Don't, don't appear until we know what it is. That's how we end up killing robots. But it's either yes or no. Wanda Dorset over in sick bay. <laughs> Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Uh, okay, for a shipment of what? A handful of Sam cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. Yeah, it doesn't sound too bad. Yeah. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yeah, unpound my... Yes, my thing. The fence. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Cool. Make sure you bring an empty belly. Why? Hmm... Let's find out. Yeah, He's friendly him. enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. I Not would that he never would, speak being ill a board of the man board. Well. He's our liaison. I love the board. Mm-hmm. They can't abide an independent township, especially not one they got to depend on. We're the first Good and last stop mm -hmm. out of this colony. All their interstellar freighters come through us. And we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments anytime we like, and that terrifies Good them. for you. <laughs> it's a delicate balance, right? 
We could cancel our freighter's docking privileges in retaliation, but where'd that lead us? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. No, that's fair. The board wouldn't do that. Oh, yeah, they would. Mm -hmm. Would they? Ab heartbeat, it's a tough yes. line to walk, no doubt about that. No sleep lost. Well, we may do no. all right. So far, anyway. I've been awake for like 48 hours, and I know that. Yep. Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing base. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. Hmm. All right. Well, thank you. Sure thing. Be seeing you. Bye. You're like, I don't want a job. I don't want a drink. <laughs> I mean. I picked up this weird signal the other day. It was coming from Monarch. Here we go again. No one lives on Monarch. It's a wasteland. You're hearing things. I feel like they do already. No, all right. Seriously. Well, there was a thing you could get. A thing I could get. Yes. Go for it. His name was Left. Graham. Right. I have it. That's stealing. Oh, it is. Yeah, because it's red. Boo. Boo. Where are we going? We gotta go find this lady that she wants to say hi to. Mm -hmm. This engineer. Let's see if we can activate that quest. I, I was confer confused by which person you were talking about we need to go to. Because they are both ladies. This is true! Yay, ladies in video games! Excuse us! Excuse us coming through! Gotta go meet a kid in his little hat. Aww. Sorry, I was very hyper focused on the green. Oh, okay, there's a lot to look at. Ooh, what is that? Gas? Yeah. Is that making you emotional sick? X no. Four elevens and an old Yakita three seven. Yo. You think they'd let me peek at the power plant? June Lee Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. I right. hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. No problem. No, it isn't. It's a mess. But it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Yes. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. Got it. The Martins, mm -hmm. the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems None. while you're visiting. Mm-mm. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. Good. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Well, my engineer really wanted to meet you. Mm -hmm. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. Oh, I like you weapons. see a lot of the same faces yes. coming and going. Maybe Most I can finally get myself that sniper boats. rifle. Yes. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different, so welcome aboard. Thank you. Yeah. You don't use corporate sprats as an insult. Huh? It just makes them sound adorable. Most of them are board spies and corporate sprats. Oh. I was distracted by... What? I didn't think you just... Well, they... Yeah, Parvati, is it? <laughs> That's a lovely name. It was a little bit of prop, but they didn't really give us a lot of choice thinking, there. Yeah. I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Mid prefer to continue. This is adorable. <laughs> right? Hey, since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if, well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Teach her some things. Silently encourage. Wow, great. I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Aww. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said sorry. I like it. Honest. <laughs> She's so sorry. Flustered. Right? 
Yes. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. <laughs> now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. Okay, so that's warmth. Brown yes. <laughs> Maybe it's between your and your body. <laughs> that heat! Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. None. Every time I give in to the board, Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Soon there won't be anything left. I can't allow that. That's fair. Mm -hmm. The board isn't helping, and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. That's awful. Whoa. If we can help. Yeah. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. I keep diligent records of station repairs, requisitions, and available assets, just like my grandmother taught me. Mm. The station's mm -hmm. radiators haven't changed since her time, and her records say the parts should be there. I trust them. Mm. That's that's fair. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what it Sorry, is. Sorry, I forgot not everyone knows this ship like I do. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned, and a haven for miscreants now. Interested to see it. Right. Mm. Uh, four. Kind of curious. I have. One of my engineers, plus a small security detail. Uh oh. Mm. They didn't come back. I can't afford to lose any Mardits on this job. No offense, but a freelancer like you is more dispensable. I, okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's. that's fair. Nice and pragmatic. Thanks for understanding. Yeah, we're very mm. understanding. Those idiots are immune to reason, and they don't much care if the station melts to pieces. Have they met our dialogue stats, though? Right? If you could find some way to solve this without violence, I'd prefer that. But more than anything, we need those parts. Got it. Mm hmm You must not have been here long. Nope. And Halcyon new <laughs> parts come by way of interstellar nope, 48 hours. Mirth, yep. And the board monopolizes that kind of trade. That means I'd have to negotiate with the board. I've already given them the shops, the docking fees, and a damn embassy. Damn right. And while I'm captain of the Groundbreaker, it falls to me to preserve this ship's independence. Damn straight. Mm -hmm. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. Excellent. Ooh. Points. Dialogue. Yeah. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regular Travel, travel. Save. Good call. <laughs> Elevator. Elevator. Desert is forced to return. Yes. Who's there? Hey, McRed, were you expecting any company? Hey. A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Yeah. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. I'll talk to the king. What's up? Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. <laughs> yum, yum. Hey, you've got the scars Time that the, the other guy has in, uh, it's nothing personal. Mm-hmm. Promise. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? Hmm. I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. Fire. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. Okay. So ask for a captain, right? I know this ain't a toy, neighbor from above. It's a catalyst, just like me. Keep talking. I like the sound of your voice. Good. Mm, that means it's working. That's right, sir. Just the parts. We'll be in and out in a jiff. 
He won't even know we were here. Yeah. Tennyson just keeps feeding the furnace, don't she? We're still playing with her last sacrifice out back with the crew. Mm. Yeah. We were just sitting in a circle, sucking down exhaust fumes and toasting to the memory of our brain cells, making this broken angel fly again. Buddy, you don't make much sense. You don't just ask well, a I mean, king for a favor when you're standing cells. in yeah. his court. You bring tribute. Sacrifices. I've got a prophecy. prophecy. Mm -hmm. Shit like that. Mm. Mm. Under its skin, this ship is all poison and darkness. Lead bones, asbestos muscle. Maybe you're right. You should start a pun. You've got the run of the kingdom. Up Stinky those stairs, thing. you'll find the parts. <laughs> My crew won't get in your way. Lay it on me, boss. I'm good for it. Ship yeah. got impounded. The crew and I racked up a debt while we were grounded. And my baby got sold to Sublight. Scrapped for parts. Hmm. That's bureaucracy for you. Piracy with a smile. That's very true. Am I your dark reflection? Shit, must be getting old. Stay here too long, and the groundbreaker drains you like a fuel tank. I mean, maybe if you didn't just stay down there. You can come and go in my little kingdom. Just try not to piss off any of the gestures. Okay. Well. Clearly. It smells kind of like old Bess's outflow pipes. You get that automatic patch? My cred wants it up and running. I'm trying to think of a good name before I wake it up. I wonder if we can find the poor... What are you thinking? Engineer? I haven't got a engineer. heart. Engineer. Not like us. I think we can and we will and we're gonna rescue. Yes. Engineer. Ooh, neat. Was I going to one of those at one point? I don't know. I hope so. It's so... Cozy. You don't have to lie. Hi. The back bays are all the home we have, and the only home we need. You're the first person I've seen who talked their way past McRed. That may not sound like much, but take my word for it. Wow. We have good stats. Mm -hmm. Dune Lay sent me down to collect the parts we need to fix the radiators. McRed got me all distracted, sucking fumes and <laughs> talking about the cosmos. Are you an engineer? Can I guess you're rescuing you? Yeah, sure. I'll get back to my post. See you topside, stranger. Good. Hmm. They're totally fine. That's good. Yeah. They were all talk. Hey, buddy. You're cute. Even though you have combat drone. Okay, so how do we get over there to the upstairs? There must be stairs just like this one. Mm hmm. Ah! Buggy bugs. Roadie. Way too big. Aha! Falling apart. I can't spell groundbreaker without broken. Oh, wait. Hmm. Hmm. Lula's gonna Yoink. be pleased as pie when we show her these. Neat. Pleased as pie. Pie is a very pleased thing to be. Yes. Thanks for letting us get the thing without mm -hmm. anyone having to die. Yep. This hair is hot. Yeah, it is. <laughs> hot like the groundbreaker. Hey! You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. Yep, brought your engineer back too. And no one died. Good work. I'll take those. 
I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. Okay. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight manticular infestation. Oh, were those the worm thingies? I hope not. More than a few. Less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. Okay. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got the into the radiators and version. here we are. Mm. Don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. Oh, get a room. <laughs> you can have this one. We'll cover up the windows. Exactly. Why am I on fire? This is not going my way. Okay. No. That could have been worse. Yeah. Good news? Song tells me the security mechanics included on the field a bunch of mantis. Bad news. Diagnostic says their circuit boards are fused from the heat, so they're not too picky about who they kill next. never easy, is it? Nope. Never. It's always gotta be something trying to kill us. I think it's Captain, look out! Uh, Don't shoot the ready. Come on. I'm trying to do the robot. Oh. oh my god. Die. Good teamwork. Yes. Alive. We have been very successful and are successful in yes. Ah, see, there's a reason I didn't try that door. I was like, that's obviously not going to work. I know how these games design themselves. Mm -hmm. When we get up there, Pavati, we're just gonna highlight all the parts that you played in this. Yes. I. Temps are lowering across the station. Anyone outside is getting a hell of a light show from the droplet arrays. Neat. Thanks for the help. You're welcome. Let me know if you ever need to borrow the wrenches. We do. June Lay is about the only thing holding this leaky old wreck together. Oh, she seems very competent. Mm -hmm. Her body can learn a lot. If from something's her. broke. Mm -hmm. Fill out an incident report. You keep the yellow copy. This is when I started this job. You could go days without a major incident. Now it's just I can't downstone. hear you. The other person's talking. Do you have what it takes to defend your corporate township from the danger? Hey, oh, we did more good things. My yes. boys are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. Yay! I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. Mm -hmm. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. Yay! If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Mm -hmm. Frustrating. 
Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I have the pleasure of making life or death decisions on a shoestring budget. That sucks. That sounds Plus, awful. Plus, there's no yeah. time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. Two. Yes. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm really just a, a dab hand with a wrench. Nothing special. Not like a chief engineer. Don't sell yourself short. It doesn't take a seasoned pro to tinker on Groundbreaker. Just someone who knows how a ship ought to feel. We're always thirsting for help. If you can find your way around this labyrinth thirsting of ducks and panels, you right. can work something out. Sure is. The Tennysons came over on the Groundbreaker. My grandmother, Chief Gang, kept it together during the crossing and until she died. I was promoted only recently, mm -hmm. when my mom died. Then I took the leap from chief engineer to captain. They must have been amazing people to have taught you all you know, I mean, which is a lot. That means a lot coming from a fellow engineer. Aww. Hmm. Two? Two. Appreciate it. There wasn't much that took me by surprise about the job, but the little things you never expect or think about, they add up over time. Mm. Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. This ship is family. It's got tinkerings and bypasses that only Tennysons know about. What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... That's terrifying. Right? You see any bite-sized Tennyson children running around? I didn't think so. There's still The time. next captain won't have my heritage. I'll have to foster that talent from somewhere. You could adopt. It's only a question mm -hmm. of when. The <laughs> little, little cute engineer girl. Yeah. I, do we do we need to know this? I mean, I feel like it's good to know. I hope that was a joke, Captain. I really do. Oh, sorry. I did that thing years ago. Now it bruises skin that goes down stronger than Nan or Spank. Family recipe. Okay. Mm -hmm. You've got my attention. Well, you've got my attention. Mm -hmm. You're right, I don't. The board is after two things, bits and power, and they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. I placate them when I have something to offer, but I can also be a real hard ass. I bet. It'd be a joy if I could kick out the corporate merchants and reclaim the docking fees in my lifetime. We'll help you. We'll too do it. Too much of Groundbreaker's income is flowing in the wrong direction. I'd like to see that change. Me too. Mm -hmm. You've got my attention. Alright. Alright. Well, do we want to leave it here for today? I think this is a good place. Yeah. We'll let them hang out until yeah. the next time we play. Stay here, poor body.